We're making coffee, we're making music, we're having a good day. Through this journey of uh, starting this business where I teach other people how to make music, I've realized that I've kind of lost touch with me making music. And the reason that I've lost touch with it is because, I mean, here's the deal. When you start a business, there's a lot of stuff you got to do, right? There's a lot of stuff you got to do. And it's not really like all related to music. Lead gen, sales, fulfillment. There's just a lot of stuff. And so today, I'm gonna make some freaking music. I don't care what happens to the song. I don't care if I write lyrics. I don't care if I even arrange beats right now. We're gonna make some freaking music. Um, the first one is I already was looking at some samples, realizing, damn, there's some super dope samples. So I'm going to make one beat that's like, just basically all samples from Splice. And then who knows, I might record a chorus or I might make another beat that's like a lot of music theory. I was watching these cool YouTube tutorials today. So I got stuff already kind of ready and pulled up so I can just bang out some beats for you and see what happens. But to be honest, the purpose of today's video is really just to inspire you to get back to what it is you love doing, which is making music. And really, I got inspired by this book here by this guy named Dan Martell. It's called Buy Back Your Time which my mentor Jeremy Pogue, the GOAT, recommended I read. And it's great because it's all talking about things that fill you up with energy in life. It's not all about that, but that's part of what the book is about. And I realized, I'm like, you know, making music is that. For me, that's my favorite thing to do, is getting on the computer and making beats and working on music, like putting together projects. I just always feel like I never give myself the time to do it. So, Today I'm doing it and I'm filming some content. So excited for you to watch this. Excited for you to maybe learn something. So let's get into it. All right, super pumped for this. We've got Splice, we've got Logic, and I've got sounds already ready to go. One thing is, one thing that's really annoying, I mean, before I go off and make one of the hardest beats of all time, I really hate when people lie. I hate lies. I'm all about truth. And uh, the truth is making beats is really fucking easy. <laughs> I'm going to show you. I know music theory, and I've been producing for six years. But for this beat, I don't know how much music theory I'm realistically going to use. And I also don't know realistically how much years of experience I would even need to make a beat like this. So I'm literally going to play you this, and there is no hiding here. So I'm gonna play you a few samples and see what we end up coming up with. I, I think we're gonna, oh, I, here we go. So I have like a ton of these so samples that are all in E minor. And I'm just gonna figure out which one's the lead. They're all in E minor and they're all at 80 BPM. So, like those two instruments can go together. And so can that one because they're all in E minor and they're 80 BPM. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sounds that are all in E minor and 80 BPM. I don't think I've ever made a beat with that many sounds that sound good together. But... I kind of like that one a lot. So I'm literally just dragging and dropping these, like. <laughs> dragging and dropping them. And then I literally just have to change, I think it already did it. Yeah, I have to change the BPM of the actual session. And then it's like, that's it. It's so freaking easy. Because I have all of these different sounds, I can use them for different parts of the beat. We got something epic. The next thing I'm gonna do is the biggest cheat code of all time. My favorite thing to do, vocal chop! I love vocals, I love, I'm, and distant voices by Arcade, man. That is it. For me, it's like, 
game changer. I, I use it in every freaking beat. Freaking love distant voices. dubs here's my keyboard I'm using <laughs> like I'm not even using a freaking I'm not even using this yet so for everyone who thinks I need the right equipment <sighs> so freaking easy create some rolls actually Pull this bad boy out. All right, dope. I came up with something. I'm super excited about this. Um, this is actually going to be a straight banger. We're going to record some vocals. I actually literally like wrote the lyrics down. I've not, I haven't done that in a while, but I don't know. To me, I feel like that is like a telltale sign that I'm in my bag right now. You can't tell me this, he and up, I just came is Every day I write my list, I get it done, I'm on my shit Nothing you can tell me now, let them go, they let me down Begging me for jams, but I just can't spare a penny now You can't tell me now, you can't tell me now You can't tell me now, you can't tell me now You can't tell me now, you can't tell me now oh, 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 oh. You can't tell me this, he and up, I just came is Every day I write my list, I get it done, I'm on my shit so that was like regular sounding, not like high sounding. Damn, I didn't save this until now. <laughs> Damn, I didn't save it. All right, so we're gonna record one more vocal layer and then I'm gonna do an ad lib layer that's gonna be stupid and fun and exciting and make you poop your pants and stuff, you know? Tell me no, oh no, that sounds like shit, yeah. <laughs> Tell me this, can't miss, can't miss. This coffee break. Tell me this, just can't miss. Oh my shit, now down. Just can't spare a penny now. Tell me now, now. You can't tell me now. You can't tell me now, 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 now. That was sick as fuck. Can I play it for you out loud? Can I play it for you out loud? Can the spotlight work? Yeah. Bro, I'm so dumb when I make music. Like I act like a dummy. I honestly, honest to God, the reason I act like that when I make music, it's a lot because of my brother Gabe. He's a super goof. Like he's funny. He's super funny. And uh, he just brings great energy every time, everywhere he goes. He, he just brings great energy. Whenever we're in the studio, he acts like that. Just super goofy and stupid and fun. And it may, like, I'm making this super motivational song. And it's like, you know, yeah, you can't tell me anything. But then I act like a goof when I'm like, literally like seconds. So I'm like, I'll be recording. And then I'm like, stupid, you know, it's just fun. Like. You can't tell me this, I just came in. Every day I write my list, I get it done, I'm on my shit. Nothing you can tell me now, let them go, they let me down. Begging me for chance, but I just can't spare a penny now. You can't tell me now, 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 you can't tell me now. Oh, 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 oh. That's insane, bro. Literally fucking crazy that I just made this. I mean, like, it's funny too, because you heard it. Right? Like you were hearing it as like me recording it. But then you hear that finished product and you're like, damn, bro, that's crazy. So I'm gonna wrap this video up. Uh, really appreciate you watching this. Hey, here's the deal. If you're if you're an artist like me, like I'm a I listen, I'm a vocalist first. If you're a vocalist first type of person, and you're like, hey, I wanna get into some of what you just did. I wanna learn how to produce, make beats. Like now I just gotta write, I got a whole song and look where I'm at. I didn't have to pay to go to the studio. Expensive equipment, not really. I, yeah, I use this thing, but I didn't even need to use it. I just used this, my computer, headphones, and 
my mic. I mean, I used the speakers, but that was just for the YouTube video. If I was just here by myself just producing, which is like probably where you're going to be at, like, I wouldn't have even used the speakers. So I think that this is a great opportunity for you if you want to learn this stuff, if you want to really get into the weeds and like really do this for yourself, all you have to do is click below and book a call with me. Uh, the thing is, there is a financial investment to work with me. Booking the call is completely free, but if you're not ready to financially invest, if you're not in a place in your life where you can do that, don't book the call because there is going to be kind of like a low to mid four figure investment involved with like working with me one on one to do this kind of stuff. But here's the thing. It's a three month program. End of the program. It's a guarantee where you're going to be able to fully produce your own music just like this. So at the end of three months, you're going to get two things. At least one song fully produced, mixed, mastered and engineered by you that you're excited to release and the skills to never need to buy beats, pay for mixing, mastering, or rely on a producer ever again. If both of those things are not fulfilled at the end of three months, then I keep working with you for free until they're fulfilled. So if that's something you want to accomplish, click below, book a call with me. Let's get started. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.